then you go to the next step. If they don't understand, go again, 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 till they understand. Right? A lot of teachers here are going straight through everything just so that they can go, yes, we've done, covered this area, right? For your curriculum. But student not understanding anything. And that's very bad. Call them to write the next yeah. Better for them to learn something than nothing and not and miss something in in your curriculum, right? Still better for them to learn something. Than to go through the whole curriculum and really they don't know anything. This is why these students are going into learning support because they don't understand anything. Curriculum of the power supply to uh, exhibitors or field trip, yeah. uh, such, such type of method yes. in the classroom. Yes, and oh, that it's, yes, it's yes. very good too. Field trip is a really good way of um, getting students to understand concepts because mathematics is very abstract. Abstract, not concrete. This is concrete, right? Yes. Concrete. Real things. <laughs> Mathematics, algebra, addition, not concrete, abstract. We don't connect with the real world. So, very difficult for students to understand. Um, the, the problem here is simple, I think. Teacher does not, uh, teacher, teachers does, uh, does not forget, teachers do not forget uh, to apply the at the time of teaching, yeah. the topic connected to the uh, related uh, yes. uh, daily life. Daily life, daily yes. Life. Uh, make but sure you connect with the daily, daily life. life. If you do that, your students yeah. will start to understand. Believe me, they will. Yes. Right? You must have connection with the real world that they live in. They work on farms. So think about um, how your mathematics applies to um, uh, planting and harvesting rice and crops and things like that. Because there's a lot of mathematics in there. Huh? See, uh, soon, you already see here, when I arrived here, you didn't see any machinery in Nepal. Now, big bulldozers, end loaders doing work, right? One, soon now, they will have big machinery to do all your rice farming, right? In Australia, they, they don't grow that much rice, but they do grow a lot of wheat. Wheat. And they have huge machine, boom, right over field in one day. Pick everything in one day. No people, just one machine, everything done, right? If that comes to Nepal, all these people here on the farm, out of job, right? What are they going to do? No education, no work. What are they going to do? Nothing, right? Nothing. They have nothing to do. So must have skill at something. Yes, yes. We need this uh, teacher only apply to traditional methods. Yeah, yes. This is the problem. Nice. Uh, and modernization is coming. It's coming very quickly here into Nepal. Already for one year now, I've seen big changes here. Big changes. Egg loaders coming, ripping up the soil. Right? And before, here yeah, we shovel, right? I've seen them on the road with shovel, shoveling sand, right? Very slow, tiring. A lot of work, right? Machine can do with a little bit of uh, diesel oil, can do all that work in minutes. So we must have better education for them. Otherwise, you're going to have 27 million people with nothing to do in country. 